what is John like as a director? Or more importantly, what was he like directing this film? John's fun as a director because he's having such a good time. I mean, you know, there's, there's something about he's, he's, his vision is coming to life. This is something that he's thought about, he's dreamed of, he's written it down in, in longhand, and there it is. People, no ad-libbing. No, oh, God, no. Mm -hmm. well, I'm in the <laughs> Writers Guild. If you yeah. want to write, join the Writers Guild. <laughs> You and can't give you line readings. Right. Oh, yeah. If he didn't like it, how you said it, you say, no, say it like this. Oh, I know. I don't do that anymore, but I know that's what all actors hate, and I gave no, I so many know. line readings. Well, yeah, you yeah. did that early People said, we're not your on. puppets. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, no, we were. Early on, we, we were definitely puppets. He read all of our lines exactly the same in, in our rehearsals. Were you a puppeteer? I never met a director who didn't have puppets when they uh, were a kid. A little bit, a little bit, but I think when I watch this film, you know, again, I, uh, you know, as your daughter a mulatto, you know, I know it's written, but I, but I thought maybe, just maybe, you know, there was something spun in it. So, you know, the energy in the film reflects the energy of you as a person, which is very open and free. So I wouldn't assume you were a puppet and you were a director. No, I don't mean it that way. I meant like, but most directors always played with puppets. You always read yes. about them when they were young. So to me, I just said that David Locker is the one that always used to say that we're not your puppets, and I'd say yes, you are. But uh, and today. I I'm a little looser, sort of. But I, I, I still no, like the dialogue. I it. like to, you know, but because you, I don't have time on the set. To, you know, I got to get the shots. I got to, you know, if we're going to work something out, we do that at rehearsal. I always have a lot of rehearsal. That's what I was going to say. We did relatively few um, takes yep. of everything. That's something that really, you know, because I was really young when I did it, and then that was my first feature as well. And then subsequently, I realized that it wasn't like that yep. in other sometimes you did it like 36 times and you were like, ugh. But with John, he was really concise and really direct and had great direction and a real point of view. And then you would do it three times, a safety, move on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when this piece came to you, had you heard of John Waters? Had you, had you seen his work? Uh, yes, yeah, I, I saw uh, in college, I went to Temple University. I was actually a math major. And um, in the Student Activity uh, Center, there was, they showed free films. And there was an X-rated film called Pink Flamingos. I was like, yo, college is cool. They show porn. This is great. <laughs> and so I went, you know, to see this, this, this what I thought was going to be this X-rated film. For, and it, it was not. <laughs> I have sex in Pink Flamingos. <laughs> it was, it was. I thought it was very hot. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, that was, that was my first introduction to John's work. And... For those of you who have not seen Pink Flamingos, I guess everybody here has, that last scene just stayed in my head. I was like, oh my God. And then I remember my agent saying, hey, you know, John Waters wants to meet you for his film. And I was like, oh, I'm not eating dog shit. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Because I, I got to say, when I met John, and I don't know if you remember this, oops, sorry. It's okay. But um, th it was the, the final callback, and it was John and Pat. Pat should really be up here, too. Pat. Yeah, Pat Moran's here, who cast really the yeah. movie. Hey, hey. Pat worked with me at all the movies. wouldn't be right. here if it wasn't for John and Pat. Um, but so it was the two of them. And I, I walked in the room, and I don't know what to expect. I, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking, you know, there's going to be dog shit. And um, I, I started, I don't know if I read first or if I just started talking to you, but there was, like, this immediate, like, bromance with his brain. John, I've always said it, is the smartest guy. He's funny, really funny. But he's the smartest man I've ever met in my entire life. And I, I so, so mean that. Thank you very much.